everybody, it's Nikki here. Welcome to this week's maths activity. Today, we are going to be sorting and comparing different groups of objects. Would you like to help me? Brilliant. Now, the first thing we need to do is have a look at our objects and see if we can name them. Do you recognise any of these foods? Brilliant. Let's take a closer look. We have some potatoes. We have some oranges. And we have some apples. Fantastic. Now, before we do our sorting, would you like to learn a little song that will help us counting? Brilliant. Now, we need our hands like this into fists. And then it's only a little chant that we can use to help us count all the fruits and vegetables. It goes like this. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. Brilliant, that's the end of our chat. Let's see if it helps us count our vegetables or fruit. Let's start with the um, potatoes, just like in our chat. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Now, that was a small chat, wasn't it? There are four potatoes. Let's check. One, two, three, four. Fantastic, there are four potatoes. Let's see what's next. Let's choose our oranges. One orange, two orange, three orange. That's the end of that chant. How many oranges did we count? That's right, three. One, two, three. There are three oranges all together. Now remember, when the last number we count is the number that is all together. So let's check. One, two, three. That means there are three all together. Fantastic. Now we have our last fruit in the, let's count. One apple, two apples. That's the end of our chant. It's even shorter this time. Thank you for helping me sort our fruits and vegetables. Let's move the camera so you can see. Fantastic. Okay, now we have grouped our fruits and vegetables into the same groups. Fantastic. Let's count. Let's see how many apples we have in our group of apples. Are we ready? One, two. How many apples? That's right, there are two apples. Now, when I count, to make sure I count five, I touch or I point to each one and I say the number. One, two. Two apples. Do we do the same with the oranges? Let's count them. You can point to them on the screen. One, two, three. How many, uh, how many oranges all together? That's right, there are three oranges because three was the last number we said. Brilliant. Now let's count the potatoes. Are we ready? One, two, three, four. How many um, potatoes are all together? That's right, there are four potatoes. Brilliant. Now, which group has got more? Which group has got more than the others? Oh, we could use our eyes or we could count them. That's right. There are more potatoes. The potato group has the most. Brilliant, because there are four potatoes and there are only two apples and three oranges. Brilliant. Now, Let's compare the groups again and see and have a look which group has the least. That means doesn't have as many as the other groups. Hmm. Can you use your eyes to have a look or you can use your fingers to count? That's right. There are two apples. That means the apple group has the least amount in it. Fantastic. 
Now, let's see if we can put them in order because we have sorted our vegetables and fruit and we have compared our groups of fruit and vegetables. Let's see if we can put them in order. Now, which group would go first? Which group has the smallest number? That's right, the apples. The apples had one, two apples in it. Let's put that at the beginning. Fantastic. Now, which group would be next? Which group had one more than two? That's right, it's the oranges. Let's put the oranges next to it. One, two, three. There are three oranges. One more than the group of apples. Fantastic. Now, which number has the most? Which group has the most? That's right. It's the group of potatoes. They have the most in it. See if I can put them here so you can see. There we go. That's it. Let's count how many potatoes. One, two, three, four. How many potatoes are there all together? That's right, there are four potatoes. One more than the group of oranges. Fantastic. Now we have put them in order. Brilliant. Let's count our order. Two, three, four. We have added one more each time. Fantastic. Thank you for sorting and ordering and comparing our groups of objects today. If you would like to do some more at home, you can order some fruit and vegetables of your own, or you could order some of your toys at home. You could put them in groups of different colours. You can group them in different sizes. And you can order maybe your socks or your clothes in different colours and see how many are in each group. Fantastic. Now, parents, if there are lots of other ideas on the websites for matching and sorting and comparing different groups of objects, um, please have a go at them. Um, and I hope you have enjoyed this maths activity and we'll see you next week for another one. Stay safe and we'll see you soon. Bye.